Two priorities for Democrats in the legislature are beginning to butt heads. Lawmakers are working on child care subsidies and paid family leave bills, and some are questioning whether it will be too costly to do both. Channel 3 political reporter Calvin Cutler has the story. Ask just about any parent in Vermont, and they'll tell you that finding child care is a Herculean task. Many centers in the area have wait lists that are years long. Especially for parents like Allison Lazars, who is sticker shock from seeing a new price hike at South Burlington-based Heartworks. She pays $1,400 a month right now and will soon pay almost $1,800. We've seen some increases over year over year. They've not been anywhere near this significant. And it's all about the funding resources, not about the regulations. Stabilizing Vermont's child care system has been a big priority for lawmakers and child care advocates like Let's Grow Kids this legislative session, including passing new subsidies for parents and providers. If you dig deep into the child care system and to the business model, the problem has always been money. Hours away from a key deadline, lawmakers are ironing out a sweeping child care bill which would funnel more money to parents and providers. A provision creating universal pre-K for four-year-olds has been pulled out of the bill for further study, but a new proposal has been added to give three months of paid leave for one parent to stay home with the new children. Senator Jane Kitchell says that parental care is more cost-effective than daycare. There are times when it would be a good idea to give uh, a parent who might not have the financial means to do so to stay home and, and provide the care directly. Legislative economists are still crunching the numbers, but the proposal could butt heads with another long-standing Democratic priority, paid family and medical leave, which is moving through the House of Representatives. I think we can make both work for Vermont families because they need it from us. The $117 million bill, years in the works, would give parents and people caring for sick loved ones up to 12 weeks of paid leave. The bill's sponsor, Representative Emily Kornheiser, says both can happen. People talk about um, conservation and housing development as oppositional forces in so many states, but here in Vermont we've been able to bring them together under the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board. The diverging strategies from House and Senate lawmakers in tackling core workforce issues come as state economists have warned about state surpluses coming to an end. And the amount of revenue that would have to be generated to do both of these initiatives simultaneously is more than it's going to be achievable. Earlier this legislative session, Governor Scott pitched his own plans for paid family leave and for child care. Democratic majorities here at the State House have not taken up the governor's plan. They're expected to vote on the child care bill on Friday. Reporting in Montpelier, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.